Jeff. The sky is nice in this afternoon from the beach. Sometimes I wonder why the sun moves day and night and how the star moves through the sky. Well, my dear Spotty, the sun, the moon, the stars and the planets are the ones that are born in the sky. But the ones we can see the most are the planets, since they are the closest we have. We can use a telescope to be able to see them. That's very interesting, Jeff. I would love you to explain more about it. You know that I am a very curious dog with the nature of things. The solar system is a vast place where many forces of nature have come together to create a masterpiece that works in a perfect synchronicity and is currently our home in the universe. First of all, we have our life-giving star, which we call it the Sun. It is the star in the center of the solar system. It is an almost perfect sphere of hot plasma with internal con convective movement that generates a magnetic field through a dynamo process. It is by far the most important source of energy for life on Earth. Its diameter is approximately 1.3 million kilometers or 109 times of the Earth and its mass is approximately 300,000 times of the Earth. The solar system apart from its mother star consists of eight planets and three dwarf planets, although one of them is still discussed if it is also a planet. The first planet in the solar system is called Mercury. This planet is the closest to the Sun. Mercury is the smallest and the fastest planet in the solar system, whipping around the Sun every 88 days from the Earth. Mercury's interior is dominated by a large iron core whose radius is 1800 and 1900 kilometers. The silicate outer shell is only 500 to 600 kilometers thick. At least some of the core is probably molten. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the sixth largest. Venus' orbit is the most nearly circular of that any planet with an eccentricity of less than 1%. Also, it spins in the opposite direction to most planets. Venus is the hottest planet and the one of the brightest objects in the sky. Venus is the goddess of love and beauty. The planet is so named probably because it is the brightest of the planets known to the ancients. Venus has been known since prehistoric times. It is the brightest object in the sky except for the sun and the moon. Venus is sometimes regarded as Earth's sister planet. In some ways they are very similar. Venus is only slightly smaller than Earth, but has craters indicating relatively young surfaces. Their densities and chemical 
both have few craters indicating relatively young surfaces. Their densities and chemical compositions are very similar. The planet Earth, the place we call home, Earth is the third rock from the Sun and the only planet with known life on it. It is the fifth largest in our solar system. It is the only planet that we know of that can house living things, from plants to animals and also humans even though it has not always been able to do so. Unlike the other terrestrial planets, Earth's crust is divided into several separated solid plates, which float around independently on top of the hot mantle below. These are known as plate tectonics. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Earth is the only planet on which water can exist in liquid form on the surface. The presence of free oxygen is quite remarkable from a chemical point of view. Oxygen is a very reactive gas and under normal circumstances will quickly combine with other elements. The oxygen in Earth's atmosphere is produced and maintained by biological processes. Without life, there would be no free oxygen. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the seventh largest. Its name means the god of war. The planet probably got this name due its red color. Mars is sometimes referred to as the red planet. The name of the moon March derives from March. Though Mars is much smaller than Earth, its surface area is about the same as the land surface area of Earth. There is very clear evidence of erosion in many places on Mars including large floods and small river systems. At some time in the past there was clearly some sort of fluid on the surface. Liquid water is obvious fluid, but other possibilities exist. Early telescopic observations revealed that Mars has permanent ice caps at both poles. They are visible even with the small telescope. We now know that they are composed of water, ice and solid carbon dioxide. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and by far the largest. Jupiter is more than twice as massive as all the other planets combined. These gas planets do not have solid surface. Their gaseous material simply gets denser with depth. What we see when looking at this planet is the top of the clouds high in the atmosphere. Jupiter is about 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. Jupiter probably has a core of rocky material amounting to something like 10 or 15 Earth masses. Above the core lies the main bulk of the planet in the form of liquid metallic hydrogen. Jupiter and other gas planets have high velocity winds which are confined in wide bands of latitude of latitude. This planet is one of the five planets which are visible from Earth with the naked eye. And also we know that Jupiter has 67 moons orbiting the planet. Orbiting the planet. A 
Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest. It is also the most recognizable planet with a system of icy rings. Saturn is a very unique and interesting planet. Its name comes from the Roman mythology. Saturn is the god of agriculture. The bands so prominent on Jupiter are much fainter on Saturn. They are also much wider near the equator. When it is in the nighttime sky, Saturn is easily visible to the It's easy to identify as a planet because it doesn't twinkle like the stars do. The rings and the large satellites are visible with a small astronomical telescope. Saturn also has 62 named satellites. Uranus is the seventh planet discovered in the solar system that also led to discovery of the last planet, Neptune. They are both referred to as ice giant, officially recognized in 1981 after many observations in the past. It is the third largest planet of the solar system. Uranus has a very unique rotation. It spins on its side at an almost 90 degree angle unlike other planets. Through simulations in computer, it has been suggested that both Uranus and Neptune formed closer to the Sun and later drifted away. Its volume is about 63 times greater than Earth, which means that 63 Earth can fit inside of it. Uranus a year takes 84 years from Earth to complete the orbit of the Sun. It also has the shortest day. One rotation of Uranus takes about 17 hours from Earth. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun and the fourth largest by diameter. Neptune is smaller in diameter but larger in mass than Uranus. In Roman mythology, Neptune was the god of the sea because it's blue intense color. Neptune was first discovered in 1846. The planet was found by John Joseph Le Biel. It was discovered later than all the other planets because it is not visible to the naked eye and so was not known to the ancients. Neptune is one of the gas giants. It is made of layer of 29% helium, 80% hydrogen and traces of methane gas. This planet because it is so far away from the sun has an average temperature of minus 214 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching our channel. Please help us pressing the subscribe button and give us a thumb up so we can keep making more educational videos.